Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Allie. Today I have another episode in my testing snacks series. If you guys are new here, I have a series on my channel where I test out popular snacks that are suggested by you guys. The theme of today's video is summer. So I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some snacks that you associate with the summertime and I got so many amazing responses. I bought myself a big whole bag of snacks and I'm going to be testing them out right here right now if you have any other question concerns after watching this video just ask them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible I will also link my playlist for my testing snacks series down below if you want to check them all out they're really fun definitely my favorite videos to film here on YouTube now without further ado we're gonna test out all the snacks I am so excited right now. If I have said this once, I've said it a million times, but here's to a million and one. In these videos, I go in no particular order. I'm just going to close my eyes, put my other hand inside of the bag, and pull out a snack at random. And it looks like the very first snack that we're going to be testing out is strawberry shortcake rolls from Little Debbie. I am such a Little Debbie fan. It blows my mind. Oh, I've never tried these before. The packaging is so pretty, by the way. Super my aesthetic. So we're gonna pull one of these out. I'm very excited because I am a huge, huge Swiss Miss Roll fan. And these are like the strawberry shortcake version of a Swiss Miss Roll. They're real pretty, this is so cute. Has like a little chocolate coating on the bottom. This is what it looks like. I'm not really seeing any strawberry right now. Just kind of like the cake roll. Break it open. Oh, yeah, there it is. So pretty. This is such a pretty snack. I think we're gonna have success with the very first snack of this video. All right, let's test it out in three, two, one. Mmm, already. Mmm. I've never tried these before. It's beyond me. This is so good. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be like a really tough one to start with because these are so flipping good. And it's gonna set like a really high standard for all the rest of the snacks. Usually I only take one bite of these snacks each and I save the rest for later, but this is definitely a snack that I'm gonna do like two, three bites or maybe even the whole roll. This is wicked good. <laughs> that was so good. I'm gonna move on to a snack now that I feel like I'm not going to love. This was suggested so many times. I'm not quite sure how this is truly related to the summer. It is dill pickle flavored potato chips from Lay's. I guess I kind of get it because like picnics and cookouts usually have like grilling hamburgers and usually put pickles on top of hamburgers. I kind of get it, but this was suggested so many times. I've never had a pickle chip before and I don't know what to expect. I love pickles, but I don't know if I'm gonna like them in chip form. It smells like, it smells like salt and vinegar chips. That's really weird. I am a crunchy chip stand type of person, so I'm going for the rolled ones because it gives like a lot of crunch. I don't know. Let's just do this. Cheers. This is a salt and vinegar chip. I don't think I like these. I don't really get pickle from this. I get salt and vinegar chip. And I'm not a huge fan of salt and vinegar chips. Sorry. I know that you either love it or you hate it. There's like no in between. These might be... These are a no for me. However, these were suggested so much. So clearly, as a whole, people love them. They're just not personally for me. So I know you're not supposed to like judge a book by its cover and all, but if these chips taste half as good as their packaging looks, I think we're in for a home run. Look at the packaging. 
packaging of these plantain chips. Does this not scream summer to you? Like look at that beautiful sea blue with that sunflower yellow writing. I love the packaging of this product. This is the plantain chips that are salted. So I have had plantain chips in the past, but it has been many moons since I have tried them and these were highly suggested as well. I honestly don't remember what they taste like, so I'm pretty excited to try them out. Get a whole cluster for you guys to see exactly what they look like. And of course, my camera does not want to focus. Focus, 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 please. There we go. Mmm. They're so subtle, yet so satisfying. I don't know why I don't eat plantain chips more. It's been so long since I've had these, and this is like a really big bag. And I also want to share that although there is some air up here, like those are jam packed in the bottom. And I think that these are a dollar or a dollar ninety nine. So I think that this is a very good deal. Speaking of the flavor, tastes exactly how I remember them to taste, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay, I had to go to the freezer for the next snack. There's another one in the freezer, but I'm going to be saving it for last because it is by far the most highly recommended one that I received when I pulled you guys. So I'm going to save that one for last and try to think in your head right now like what that snack might be and see if you are right by the end of the video. The next one is a freezer snack and it is probably the epitome of a summer staple snack when you are a child. <laughs> Hootsie Cups. Oh my goodness, this reminds me of birthday parties and it reminds me of summer cookouts. I don't know about you guys, but we would always have these on deck for the kids. They're little hoodsy cups and they are the vanilla and chocolate swirl one. I just remember everybody wanting the chocolate ice cream one and you would always open them up and compare with your friends or your cousins or your siblings on who got more chocolate and then you'd be envious of that person. These things guys, oh, memories. Look at this, like a little hoodsy. I remember when I was young, they used to give you like little sticks to eat these with. I don't think you get the sticks anymore or they would put sticks in here and you kind of like scoop it out, but I guess they don't do that anymore. This is like the most perfect, perfect combination of chocolate and vanilla. Oh, I feel like a child again. This is making me so, so happy. So I have my spoon here. I'm gonna go right down the center and get a little bit of both. That's how I used to do it when I was a kid. Not sure how you guys used to eat hoodsy cups, but look at that. To be honest with you, the ice cream is subpar. <laughs> Definitely have better ice cream out there. <laughs> and you know, I wouldn't say that this is like ice cream. Oh, so cool that I would go out of my way to buy again. But as a kid, like kid Allison is saying that this is the best ice cream that she has ever had. Get me some whipped cream, get me some sprinkles, and we will have ourselves a little party. I don't know guys, this next snack, I didn't know if I should include it because who really wants to watch me test this one out? It's not something I'm going to be testing because I literally just ate it two days ago. We have this in our house every single day once the summer months approach. But you guys requested it so much. This was so many people's favorite summertime snack. It is watermelon. So again, I'm not like necessarily going to test this one, but I had to include it in the list because so many people said that watermelon is their favorite summer snack. I've never had watermelon just like this. So I figured this would be a new experience for me where I just forth the watermelon and just kind of like bite on into it. It's something I've always wanted to do. So here's to making our dreams come true, guys. Let's do this. Mm. That's good watermelon. That is juicy. It is firm. It is delicious. It is sweet. That is a good watermelon. I don't know, you just take a bite of watermelon and you just automatically think 
of the summer months. <laughs> My heart is so happy right now. <laughs> this next snack I also had to include in this video, although I'm not going to be testing it because it is another snack that I just had maybe three days ago when we had a little fire pit in our backyard. It is. <laughs> you know when I said the hoodsy cups are like the epitome of a summer snack? I was wrong. <laughs> I stand corrected. This is the epitome of a summer staple snack. This is the good old s'mores. So I just made this in the microwave. Oh, ho, 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 ho. so many people said that s'mores are their favorite summer snack, which I think I would agree with. I think when I think of summer snacks, s'mores are the first thing that comes to my mind. Fun fact about me, I hate marshmallow unless they are melted inside of a s'more. Other than that, do not give me a marshmallow. But like, let's get another look at that. Like this is a pretty looking s'more. We got the melted chocolate, the two graham crackers, the melty marshmallow. Also eating this over my son's playroom white fuzzy rug. So wish me luck, here we go. I don't even know where to attack this. Ooh, I'm just gonna do one really big, big mouth bite. So don't judge me, it's going to get very unattractive very fast. Here we go. S'mores speak for themselves, like yes. All the yeses, give me all the s'mores. Pretty sure I have chocolate all over my mouth right now. Also pretty sure I am the most attractive version of myself that I've ever been before. So you know, you're welcome for that. We're going to be washing some of those snacks down with a drink. One subscriber slash internet friend suggested Capri Sun lemonade flavor. Lemonade is great all year round, but is especially good in June, July, and August. I have not had a Capri Sun in quite some time. I have these sometimes in my classroom, but they're not like the Capri Sun brand. I haven't had an actual Capri Sun in a really long time. So let's try to get this little straw situation going and give it a little sippy sip. Okay, was not expecting it to be that good. I mean, you think of Capri Sun, you think of like a children's drink pouch. That's actually really good lemonade. Go off Capri Sun. That is really, really good. I'm like, oh, I'm pleasantly surprised with this. Also, can you let me know in the comments when you were a kid and you drank these, did you drink them all until they were completely flat and then like <sighs> blow into them until they became like a balloon? Just me? Okay, cool. I feel like this is going to be a very lengthy video. I just don't have any self-control when I read through all of your comments and your suggestions. I want to try them all, so I buy them all. The next one that we're going to be trying out is the Pop-Tarts Bites. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this was a thing when I was a kid and then they like went away for a while and now they're back. I'm very excited. If they are what I remember them to be, I really enjoyed these, but I haven't had these maybe ever or if not since I was like 10 maybe 12 so let's open this up and take one of these little bags out which I can't seem to do right now Ooh, love and I got the flavor strawberry which has a little frosting on top and all of the confetti sprinkles oh. these are very underwhelming like look look at how much confetti sprinkle is on the box Look how many are on my Pop-Tart bite. None, pretty much. <laughs> They're all pretty much like that. There's like no sprinkles in these. Let's break it open and try it out. Oh, I don't like these. Is that really dry? Everything's dry. The pastry is dry, the icing is dry, even the jam is like thick, so it's not like a gooey, wet situation. Ew, that sounds so gross. It's kind of like a thick, dry <laughs> Jax doesn't like them either. No, for me. 
I think we're down to like three snacks now. We have one savory snack, one drink, and one sweet cold popsicle snack. Do you guys know what I'm talking about yet? I want you guys to really think hard on what that last snack is going to be. The one that was like the most suggested for a summer sweet icy cold treat. Next, we're gonna try out the Fritos chili cheese flavored corn chips. I also don't know how these really correlate specifically for the summer. This reminds me more of like a winter snack because I associate chili with winter. But I did get, I think, two people that suggested this. So we're gonna try it out. I used to eat these all the time as a kid. Also have not had them in a very, very long time. But I remember these being a snack that you like can't just eat one of, you eat like 50 at a time. Yes, that smells so good. Let's get a nice little zoom close up of what these chippy chips look like. So much flavoring on these. I remember Fritos used to make a ranch version and I cannot find the ranch version anywhere, but those were my jam growing up. This is what it looks like. We've all seen a Frito before. And here's the chili cheese version. Mm. I guess I understand how these are like summer related. It has like a very smoky flavor. And a lot of smoky flavors are associated with cookouts and bonfires, so I get it. I like it. I dig it. These are delicious. Be right back. I'm gonna eat half the bag. Excuse me for a second while I take a big gulp from my Arnold Palmer. <laughs> Arnold Palmer is the next drink, the second to last snack that we're going to be testing out. This is the Arnold Palmer half and half light iced tea and lemonade. Mm -hmm. All right, nothing is on the Palmer. This one is delicious, but can we just talk about how delicious the Arizona sweet tea is? That one, 10 out of 10 all day. This one's so good. I would give this like a 9 out of 10, but the sweet tea one, y'all, the sweet tea one. Okay, guys, we're ending this video with a snack that got the most submissions. It's also a snack that I've never heard of before. I kept reading this over and over and over again in that poll, and I was like, babe, what in the world is a bomb pop? What is that? So I've actually had these before, but I call them like firecracker pops. I never, ever heard of a bomb pop before. I thought you guys were like joking at first, and then I looked these up online, and I was like, that's a bomb pop? I always used to call them like a firecracker pop, which is also another brand. I just never knew that a bomb pop was an actual thing, but so many of you guys opened up my eyes to the fact that it is because this one got, like I said, the most submissions and I completely agree. I think of this when I think of like summer snacks and I think of summer iced delicacies. Oh, I'm like so excited to have one of these again. But I never knew that they were called Bomb Pops, and I never knew that that was like a brand or whatever it is. A Bomb Pop. Look at this! It's so pretty! I love it! <laughs> so this is supposed to be multi-flavored. I think it is cherry, it is raspberry, and it is lime. So the middle part is lime. I don't even know how to start this, but let's just go. Cherry. Raspberry. Oh, and lime. The gang is all here. <laughs> this is so good. I haven't had a popsicle in years. Years and years and years and years and years. And this is so I good. I just, I literally cannot wait to give one of these to Landon and have him experience his first firecracker pop or first bomb pop. I'm gonna see if my tongue turns like really red. Oh yeah, oh yeah, artificial coloring and everything, so good. 
And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you made it to the end, you are always the real MVP. Give yourselves a round of applause. I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for helping to make my YouTube dream come true. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all your positivity. And thank you for just being you. I appreciate you so, so much. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite snack that I tested out was, is, I think mine might be the strawberry shortcake roll that one was so flipping tasty again i love you guys so much i hope you're having a beautiful day and i look forward to talking to you all soon bye guys